All right, so it's after season. Um, it was a good season. Uh, right now I'm gonna set up some shed traps. It's well into January, they're dropping soon. Um, so I'm out here putting up some shed traps. Now what a shed trap does is when the antler is about to fall off, usually they'll jostle loose if they jump over a log or if they hit a branch but then you're walking and walking and walking and hoping you find some. Um, so this ups your chances quite a bit. So all it is, is you find, this is one way to do it. You can find two trees, one, two, that are pretty close together. And then you put some uh, wire fencing in between them. Make sure it's very tight. So that way, if it's loose sometimes, on the rare occasion, um, it could take the antler off a little forcefully because he can't get out and he struggles. And then you might have a deformed rack the next year. Um, you really don't want that, but like I said, that's very rare. Um, already in some areas they're starting to drop, so they're primed to drop off right now. So all you do is you put wire from one side to the other, attach it to the trees, um, attached together really good really tight make sure it's all tight and then you make sure uh, You put the bait right by the fencing So that way when they're gonna they're gonna go down here to eat And they're gonna eat and when they come back up, they're gonna bump their antler a little bit And if it's ready to fall off it'll fall off if not it'll fall off next time they come out here So that's all you do I'm gonna show you a different way um, shortly. I'm gonna go a little ways away and I'm gonna show you a natural one for those of you who might not wanna use wire. 